Hello everybody and welcome back to our phonics. Remember we've got our playlists on YouTube so if you want to sing along to the phonics songs they're all on there. You've got your tricky word songs on there and you've got your jolly phonics songs. So go and have a listen to those, sing your favourite ones, maybe teach some other people in your house how to sing those phonics songs as well. Today we're going to look at the split digraph for E. So yesterday you looked at a different split digraph that two letters making one sound but they've been split up so there's space in the middle for another letter to go in. And we're going to look at the E sound today. So the first job I'd like you to do is somehow, either on a piece of scrap paper or something you have in your house, can you make a rainbow? So you're going to make a rainbow because we're going to use that today to spot our split digraphs. So pause the video here and however you want to do it, whether you use some Lego, whether you use some Duplo, whether you just use a scrap of paper and draw it with your pencil, get your felt tips out and give it a colour, get some paint out if you want to, whatever you've got in your house that you can make a rainbow out of, that you would be able to pick up with your hands, I'd like you to do that now and then come back to doing our jobs. So now that you've got your rainbow, you will be able to use your rainbow to spot the split digraph. So we're looking for the E that has been split up by another word. So it might be that it's a naughty digraph and it's had to be split up and put a sensible person in between because they're too busy chatting to each other. Or maybe it's just that the first sound is so loud we can't hear the second sound. So in this particular word, it will be th E S these. And you can see by the rainbow, I've joined up that split digraph so I can see it there. So use your rainbow now to join up the split digraph. Here are a few words for you to use. Write them down on a piece of paper, then use your rainbow to spot the split digraph. And then you will be able to read those words. Again, some of these are real words and some of them are alien words. We know the alien words because they have a picture on them. We know the real words because they don't. These are going to be a bit small on some of your screens, so you're going to have to write them out so that your rainbow will fit on them. If you want to send us some photographs of you doing this, that would be fantastic, because then we can see that you've used your rainbow to find those split digraph E sounds. OK, now we've got a sentence. Can you spot the split digraphs in this sentence? And what I'd like you to do is use your rainbow to spot the split digraphs. Maybe you could write the words down that you think have a split digraph and use your rainbow to check them. Can Pete delete these in the evening? So check where the split digraphs are, see how many you can find. You've done a fantastic job of your phonics today. We've done two split digraphs so far. We're going to go on to a different split digraph, doing it in a slightly different way tomorrow.